God, I am so hot in this room. I literally can't. How am I gonna do this? It's just so hot all the time. <sighs> Hello mermaids, it is Lexi. Welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. Long time no see. I just am really in the mood to film. I'm really in the mood to just do what I love doing and I literally love doing this stuff. I love talking to you guys. I love showing you my tips and tricks. I love, I just love all that. And today what I'm going to be doing, I don't think I've ever done something like this on my channel which is like crazy to me because I feel like I'm always getting new can you guys like see my that's like my tv i don't know what she's doing back there it's gonna be like a get ready with me so like a get ready um trying full face some makeup so everything i have is basically new i'm trying to like lay out some stuff i think i have a full face of new makeup that i've never tried or i maybe tried like once or twice but i've not talked to my mermaids about it so if you want to see me trying on a full face of new makeup like a get ready with me then just keep on watching Okay, I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited. I have not even put on a full face in, I kid you not, I swear to God, it's been like three, four months that I put on eyeshadow, eyelashes, foundation, concealer, everything. I'm doing the whole nine yards and I'm very inspired by my shirt, by this color. So the first thing I'm going to start off with right now is going to be face, which is going to be this new Smashbox. It's like a primer serum. And I'm obsessed with serums. I love them so much. So this really helps moisturize and lock in that moisturize. But it helps if you're redness and you feel like you're irritating. Because I feel like my face gets very irritated. And it's um, it's very nurturing. I've used this twice. And I love it so much. I love serums. And I love how it looks. It's like, it looks very luxurious. And it's green. And it's like in this kind of form. And now I do is I do two drops. Two, three, whatever. And I massage it into my hands a little bit. And then I just like to press. All over. It's I, I don't think it smells the greatest to me. And this gets like tacky good. And it helps. It's supposed to help long lasting with your makeup. And everything like that. Please don't mind my nails either. They are very bad. They are very broken. I'm getting them done tomorrow. I always gotta tell you guys. It's 4.50 Wednesday July 15th. Which is really random time for me to be doing this. I wanted to do this the whole day. I was going to do it last night and then I was like, no, I need to wait. So with that serum, I like to let it press into the skin. I like to let it set. So we're going to go onto my eyes and do all that. So I'm going to go into eyebrows. You guys, I found such a new good eyebrow. It is the Wet n Wild. This reminds me of the Anastasia, but I feel like it's better than them because it's like thicker. This was like four bucks. I got this at CVS. Just because I was there printing pictures one day and I was like looking at their makeup, of course. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need a new one. My elf one was like all over the place and I don't even know where my other stuff is. I'm like the laziest with my eyebrows. So I just follow my natural shape. Personally, that's I've always kind of had a good shape of eyebrows. It's like creamy, but it's not super creamy where you feel like it breaks. Like it still has a good wax figure to it. And it, I don't want to say it's like hard but it just it sticks very nicely and I fly through my eyebrows like very very fast okay now what I'm gonna try I don't know if I should try it now I think I'm gonna try it now because I don't ha I have a full or uh, no I'm not gonna do it now okay there's another product that I really want to try and I haven't done my hair I just literally put it something like this but I'm gonna be doing it later too Oh, and I'm going to be putting on chapstick because you know I need to put this stuff on before. It is my Honest Beauty Balm, um, but just in this, like, fat stick, which I really like, actually. Mmm. Just that. Just that. Okay, let's go into eye primer. I'm going to be going into eye primer. Okay. I don't have a new eye primer, so I'm just going into my MAC Soft Ochre Longwear Paint Pot. I have not been putting on primer like all summer. I've just been doing my concealer. Oh my god, why did I put on eye primer? I didn't want to do this actually. 
I didn't want to do that. I'm really, really disappointed, but I'll just go over it. So I love the P. Louise bases. They come in a whole bunch of different colors, and I got this a while ago. So I got the pastels, the purple, the light pink, the light blue, turquoise. I got an orange and a red, and I'm going to be using this orange one right now, and this one is called odd orange but I've had it forever and I've never used it and I didn't want to prime my eyes because I was going to do this I knew I would screw up like that so I'm going to be putting this orange as my base like very vibrant so pretty for the um summer I'm just going to stick it wow <gasps> holy I forgot how good these are and it doesn't need to be pretty because I'm going to be putting an eyeshadow over it you guys can use cut creases with this and your waterline um, as liner. You can literally do anything with these P. Louise's bases, which is amazing. And there's a whole bunch of beautiful colors, and they really stay on, too. They don't make you crease up or anything like that. Would you guys just please take a moment to look at this? Okay, it's not blended out. It looks a little crazy right now, but trust me. It's going to look so good. Now, let's go into the eyeshadow palette. Boom! This is Dominique Cosmetics, and this is a makeup brand by Chris Kristen Dominique. This is her palette, Celestial Storm. I've, I've been wanting to get this palette for so long, I, and I got this, like, a little bit before like quarantine started happening but I'm obsessed with the meaning behind it and the packaging of it I think it's just absolutely gorgeous and then I have never used this and then when you open it it's just like bam like look how gorgeous these colors are and I've heard amazing amazing stuff about her um, eyeshadows and about her brand in general and I don't have anything by her and I right when this came out I wanted to get it but I waited and I waited so long so I'm guessing you guys can guess. Oh, I thought this would be a more brighter orange, but maybe it's not. I'm guessing you guys can guess what shadow I'm going to be using. Probably like these two, but these shadows, like these shimmers look unreal. I'm going to go into a Lunar Eclipse, which is this orange one. Honestly, I thought it was going to be more orange. It looked more orange online than what I thought. That was like my first time opening it too, like that. Wow, you can see where Bobby Bine has been. And I'm going in with JH50. It's just like a flat brush. Okay, next, you guys, I am going to go into that same color, that Lunar Eclipse Orange, and go in with a M514 Little Blending Brush. Just for my creases, because I don't want it to look so stick and sharp. Like, I need to blend it out to make it um, smoky and seamless. Because it's just very sharp right now, I feel like. And I always tilt my head back. You guys know the drill. Should I zoom you guys up? I feel like you guys should be higher. Okay, that looks way, way better, I feel like. Miniature circles. Very lightly. Just all around. Bringing it up just a little bit. And then we're also going to clean up this edge too. So it's okay if it gets a little um, out there. And this is blending out very, very, very nicely. And I kind of just like bring it up a little bit. Kind of make a little cat eye effect. I definitely think I made this one a little more rounder. So I'm just going to just keep blending, just keep blending, just keep blending, blending, blending. What do we do? We blend. <laughs> I love to blend. <laughs> What is going on with me okay i kind of want to like make the orange a little brighter so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go into more jacqueline Hilt. i think she has some bright oranges in here yeah look at that so i have used this before but i've never used the orange i don't know if i want to go to feel myself or my man i'm gonna go into my man i'm just gonna do it in the center Pop it. Oh my gosh, yes. Can you see the difference? I don't know if you guys can. I love it. 
but I think that rustic orange and with the bright orange with the P. Louise and this really add a dimension. So, this is actually gonna work out really pretty. How does that happen? So you can kind of see it better here. Again, I'm just tapping in the center, not even blending it. Mm, I really, really like that. Okay, mermaids, I'm going to put on some lashes and liner and do everything like that. And my camera looks like it's going to die, so it'll be a perfect time to charge up until I get back and we do the rest of the face. So anyways, I will be right back. Hello, mermaids. I am back. Now I put on lashes and liner, and I did this, like, really thick liner. I'm going to do the, of course, cat eye in the corner later on, but this is it right now. These lashes are new. These are by Batty B in the style plastic. I just used my roller... My Benefit Roller Lash, super matte, super black. I love it. I have not done like a thick liner like this in so long. And I was just like feeling, I was like, you know what? I have to do like a cat eye of some sort because hello, tiger, like obviously. But I have some really new face products. And I'm very, very excited to do it. But first, I'm going to go into the Dragon Beauty Color Correctors. Now you guys know this is a fire breathing potion, the orange one. So this just helps darken up um, dark spots on your face. And now I don't have that much. And then I'm just going to blend this out with a flat brush, just a random flat brush. Now, I just did this because I got her new product. It is the Lavender Highlight. So this, what this does, it highlights, you put this over on top of the orange, which helps cancel out the orange dark spots or the orange, you know, the orangeness on your face, obviously. And this helps neutralize it and just helps, you know, highlight and just does everything like that. So when you put on your foundation, it's just like a clean canvas. Oh my gosh, so weird putting purple on now. I'm just going to put this on top of the dark spots that I did this all on. I wonder if you can just do this like without the orange color corrector. I'm sure you can. Makeup literally has no rules. I put way more of this on than the orange stuff. So I'm just going to go in with that same brush. I feel like I should have let it set for a little bit. Like if I have the orange, I feel like I should get the purple. Because that's just going to like even everything out, you know? Like I'm trying to be like her. I'm trying to go to Facetune in real life, okay? Laura Mercier on here just to set it. Now you can do a little powder, okay? So don't have this scare you. We're still going to go into foundation and everything like that too. I just want to lock this in, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Next, we're going to go into foundation. Now, I have a few stuff I'm going to mix. So, I just got this Pretty Fesh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. So, this is like a kind of a dewy finish, natural finish, and it's not super heavy, which I'm not into heavy stuff this summer at all. Like, I'm barely wearing makeup. So, this might be a little light for me, but we're just still going to go for it. I'm going to mix it in with just a candle holder. I can do any candle holder. So I'm just going to go like this. Might have been a little too much. Okay. I really like this packaging of it though. It's very simple, sleek, kind of skinny. And then you guys, I've never used this yet, but I just got this a couple weeks ago. This is the Drunk Elephant Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunside, Sun Sign, Sun Sign sunshine drops and this is supposed to help you know pollution around you from the environment there's always pollution everywhere we go and this gives you a little bronze and i'm like perfect because i feel like my pretty fresh one which is in the color medium 11 n because i like having a neutral undertone this is going to just bronze me up like a little bit that i need so i'm gonna put it in here i've heard amazing stuff about this come on oh there it goes might have done a little too much but i can you know, mix it and do that too. Look at me, I'm like trying all these new products actually. And then I also got the Cami Newing Beauty Blender. You know I do not use a sponge or a beauty blender for my full face. I usually use like a brush, but I really want to try this because Nikita Dragon talked about it again. And I got three for like $6.50, which is amazing. And this is really soft and I really like like this. Okay, I never use sponges, so... I don't even know how to act. Should I go like this? Because I'm more of like that full effect and I hate like kind of the wetness personally on my skin. I am not liking how my skin is looking. I can see the purple 100% through this. I don't know if it's because the sponge is kind of soaking up my foundation 
or it's the foundation that is not covering this good at all because it's light and I might need something a little more full coverage. Like I try to be a beauty blender girl. I still use beauty blenders in my everyday routine. No, I am not liking this. No, we're switching gears. Okay, I'm going into a brush. Now this is an, a cosmetic one I got at TJ Maxx for like legit $12. Oh my God, yes, this is what I need. I still feel like this purple is coming through my face. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, guys, I really need to fix this. So I usually, I got a Morphe one that I absolutely love and I can't find it. I think I lost it when I was gone at the 4th. So I'm just going to go right here. This is how I do my concealer now. I learned it on TikTok and I love it. So just um, in the inner corner here and then... Now this is in the shade medium and I'm just hitting all of the high points that I want because I want to be lifted and just like cat eye effect because that is just what we're going for. Now I'm going to let this set because you know I like to let my concealer set. The more you let it set, the more it blends out very full coverage. I'm going to go in with another new brush that I got. It's like the Face by Huda Beauty. I love this so much. It is the Face um, slash Sculpt Shade Brush and I'm just going to go blend this stuff out. Even when I'm blending out concealers, I use a brush. Like, I'm just a brush girl. This side, I love it so much, so I literally just tap. I'm going to cover everything up underneath my eye and lift my eye with the concealer. Now, this I do, like, all the time. And then this is kind of like an eraser if I need an eraser for anything. So it's super easy. I'm going to go over very lightly with my beauty blender because I like to make sure everything is together. No. Next is another new product. So what do we do after we do our concealer, our foundation? We have to what? Say it again. Set it because we don't want to look greasy. We want to lock it in place. We don't want to get creasy as well. Now this is a new one. This is from Revolution, the banana deep one. I'm obviously tanner in the summer. So that's why I got this. Stupid. Freaking dumb. Now I hope this isn't like way too yellow or like way too dark for me, but I don't know, we'll see. I don't know where to put this because the packaging is really bad. I don't like the packaging. Now I'm just gonna go in with a brush into a newer brush also, M536. It's a great tapered brush. Now I'm gonna put this underneath the eyes. What I like about banana powders is they aren't so light. But also you gotta be careful on how you set everything because you don't want it to be too yellow, especially for your skin tone or your undertone. But there's different banana powders too. I just got the deep one. See, now I feel like this looks just like way too yellow. Oh my God, what is going on? This has just been a, not a good makeup day. Or was having a good makeup day and then the face just ruined it. I'm not having a good makeup day anymore. And I'm not liking how I look. I look too yellow under here. Awful. I'm going to try the Laura Mercier. I am not impressed. Save me, mama. Save me. I'm going to go in to bronzer. And I did get a new bronzer, and I'm so excited. You guys know I have the cream bronzer by Fenty. So I wanted to get the matte bronzer because all mine, I have the caramel one, yes, that I have been us using, but this is my first time using it. I just got this like a few days ago, and this is Caramel Cutie. So I'm gonna go in with this, and I've heard amazing things about it. And I don't know, I just like matching stuff. Like I have the cream to this, I'm gonna get the bronzer to this. Like I like matching where they're supposed to go. <laughs> Save me, mama. Oh my gosh, I like this. I like this. I like this a lot, lot. I like it because it's not too warm. Now I'm trying to like lift it up. I'm actually swirling upwards so I can get super snatched. And my dips on my cheek, they go like right here. So I really try to highlight that. Okay. 
I'm going up. And I like to bring it down right here because I have such a round face. So I like to make it a little more, you know what I'm saying? See right here? Swirling up. Swirling, blending up. Let's go just right on the nose. I never do a perfect nose contour. I just literally go all over like this. To blush. Now, this blush isn't new, but it's new to me. I have never used it. it was this past Christmas, I worked at Sephora, for those who did not know, and there was like a whole bunch of gift sets, whole like bunch of value sets for cheaper price. So, if you don't know, I did get three of a set of different blushes and highlights and they're different color and everything like that for $35. And I'm really into this muted kind of one right now and I've never used this one. So this is kind of new to me and it's all magnet together. It's super cute. And this for how I apply blush is gonna be the exact same way how I did my bronzer. I'm gonna start up, but go closer to the cheek. Okay. And I pat and then I kind of blend. You definitely get more out of it when you press. So I like I said I like to press and then always put blush on the nose. Like always. That's not even a discussion. Because it's like you got that sun kiss and I do that all the time. And I love it. Let me tell you, love it. Okay guys, underneath here is kind of bothering me, so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut that and just make it a little bit so I'm just gonna go like this with my butter blender right at the end here. Let's cut the cheek. Okay. Let it go a little bit off here. Okay. This is what I wanted to show you guys. So I'm gonna go in with the got to be glue. I just got this stuff at Target. Who had any idea? I had no idea that this stuff was at Target and their hairspray. Like, this is the holy magic for wigs, for any flyaways, for the new soap brow thing. So I thought, let me get this because I always have flyaways and I always, like, you put it down with lotion. And I'm like, let me try to, like, stick it up like they do. So I'm going to grab this. This is just the invisible one. There's another one, too, that yellow one. But I just wanted the invisible. I didn't want the cream. And you can put this in your hair when it's damp or dry. Like, it really, really sticks. So I'm going to brush this up. But sometimes I hate that brushed up effect look. I feel like it's because I have some thick brows that I don't really put it up that much because I feel like I look crazy when I do. Do you see what I mean? But then I'm going to go just like, because I just feel like it's a little, a little too much for me. I really like this. I can already tell I like this. Let's go, mama. Hey guys, I think it's time I'm going to wipe off. I'm not really going to wipe it off. I'm technically going to push it like into my skin. This little baking that we did. I never wipe it off. I just like push it more into my skin. So it's gone. Definitely hate this under eye area where I put the banana. Not a good idea. Next, I'm going to go into setting spray because I need to set my face. I don't know if I've talked about this one with you guys, but this is just a Smashbox weightless one, and I just, like, ate the whole thing. And then I got this off of Amazon. So cheap. I actually got it from TikTok, and when I watched Jacqueline Hill's Amazon haul, she talked about this, and I was like, oh, I have it. So I'm just going to go like this. So I definitely got it off TikTok, but I know she's talked about it before, but... It really does help, especially in my room when it's hot up here. Now we're going to go into highlight. I haven't used this one in a while. I'm going to go in with the Lion King one. And it's a little darker. It's perfect because I'm more tanner. I have not been, like, highlighting at all this year. I just want to do a little bit right here. Now, the question is, do I want to do the under eyes? Do I want to, like, smoke it out or should I just leave it kind of plain like this? I was thinking about doing a little bit of both, like a little smoke, but not too much. So I think I'm gonna do that. I 
I did get a few new lip liners, but this one is not new because this I want a dark one for this. This is just my Morphe one in the shade Toasty. Then, I don't know if I talked about this. This is like one of my favorite lips, especially like in the summer because it's so light and I like having that dark lip liner with a lighter lipstick. This is New 2 by KKW. Okay, I'm gonna top it with a gloss. So, I just got this clear one from Maybelline. These are their new glosses and they are so good, you guys. I love them so much. So, I've been using the amber one a lot. I've been topping it off, but since I just got this one, I kind of want to do a clear one. And this is in pearl. This is the Maybelline Gloss Filter one. And there's a whole bunch of different colors and it looks really good. That's one thing Maybelline is good at is their lip products. Ooh. Oh, frick. Why would I do that? It's stained. Get the brush and do it from there. Because I don't want to stain my wand. And I'm just going to do the top and the bottom. I let's kind of... Well, you guys, I think this is everything. Hello mermaids, I am back. This is the end of the video. Here is the final look of my face. What do we think of it? I honestly, I love the eyes. I like the lips. I like some of the face and I also don't like some of the face. I'm actually digging the brows too. But yeah, this is the final look. What do we think? So overall, I did like some of the products. Some of the products I did not like. I loved the eyeshadow palette. I love the lashes. I love the bronzer. I love the lip glosses. Um, the color correctors, I definitely could live without it. The new Got To Be Glue, loved, loved her so much. Blush I liked, but I like my Warm Honey one better, but you guys know that I use that one all the time. So this is it for that video. Full face of brand new makeup. Full face of new makeup, Full, is that how they say it? I, I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. Mermaids, before you go, like, comment, subscribe, hit the noti bell, cause you know I'll be back for more videos. Fun stuff coming up in the works. Um, yeah, and I'm sorry for being gone again. That's just a whole other topic I'm not gonna get into, okay? Okay, anyways, bye mermaids.